Some of you asked me whether playing golf is good for networking in business. To be honest, to me, playing golf is a little bit boring, but I wanted to ask this question to someone who knows better. So I met one of the people I know, the general manager of this golf course right here, to help me answer this question. And then he challenged me to play golf. So I counter challenged him to have a golf cart race first. Let's do this. So I won the race with the director of this golf course, but unfortunately he brought his girlfriend with him and she turned out to be a really good golf cart racer. And actually she won and she was on the golfer's team. So I actually had to assign this first point for my challenge to them, which made me a little bit annoyed. Then we went to play golf and I was a little bit worried because I knew that I have no chance to win golf with the golfers. The second challenge was to hit the ball across the lake, but me and Ellen, we always threw the ball into the water and we just couldn't really get this across. The next challenge was short shot and here I could use a little bit of cheating and I was able to put the ball really close to the hole and I was able to pretend that I actually got the point so I convinced my editing team to actually add this part where I'm aiming in there and I'm getting point for the tribers. I wasn't able to cheat in the last challenge because the last challenge was to hit the ball as far as you can and the golfers they did it really well there was no chance for me to really cheat about this one and pretend that I hit the ball as well as they did because we got this all on camera so unfortunately golfers won on the golf field so next time I'm going to challenge them to play on our playground but now let's talk a little bit about the networking part of golfing I think obviously traditionally golf has been a very, very popular sport for networking. Um, you know, in the, in, certainly in the in the more um, established markets, you know, Europe and Americas. Um, again, you come to Asia where it's very elitist sport still. Um, you know, it, it gives people the opportunity to, to spend almost five hours on the golf course with someone. So to have a meeting with a CEO or a managing director or a general manager for five hours on your own, dedicated time with him, it'd be almost near impossible in a, a normal meeting environment. You give you, you give you half an hour if you're lucky. Yeah. Whereas here you have his undivided attention. So. You know, I think I think networking side of things is probably a little bit more old school. Um, you know, there obviously is a younger generation that plays golf, but at that time it's still more of a sport. It's more of a fun social, sociable get together. They're not really maybe in that in that business environment yet. Um, so I think from the networking's perspective, it's probably still the older person that, that, that really benefits from it. Here is my final verdict on networking while playing golf. It is good for older people and in more conservative setup, but for younger generation working digitally, creating businesses from anywhere in the world, I think we need to step up and we need international way of connecting all those entrepreneurs in a much more powerful setup. Just like we developed from using video cassettes to Netflix, and just like we developed from using audio CDs to Spotify, I think the new way of networking on a golf field is international digital business masterminds. I can invite you to one of them called Tribal Mastermind. You can go to tribalmastermind.com, see the website, and I will see you inside. Feel the light.